Well, hey there, YouTubers. It's David here. Just thought I would do a follow-up on my video I did some time ago about uh, whether you should buy a car now or wait. Well, I tell you what, the downward slide has started a lot sooner than I expected. Ford recently announced that the Mustang GT for 2022 and the Mach 1s are going to have 10 less horsepower and 10 fewer feet pound of torque than the 2021 models. Wow, I couldn't, I was really surprised to hear that. Now, of course, that's not going to make a massive difference in performance, but it's the principle of the thing. I mean, it's the, they're going in the wrong direction. Manufacturers usually make a pretty big deal out of any kind of horsepower increase, even if it's just, you know, 10 or 15 or 20 horsepower. So the fact that they're backstepping like this, wow, that's, that's a surprise for me. So, you know, it had been pretty sad if you were waiting to get a 2022 model Mustang, you're going to get uh, a much weaker Mustang than uh, the 18 to 21 models. That's, that's very unfortunate. I feel pretty lucky now that I got a 2021 when I did. The other interesting aspect of that is Ford has a performance pack for the Mustang GTs, uh, 18 to 20, 21 Mustang GTs that will uh, bump your horsepower up to 480, equivalent to the Mach 1. And uh, uh, you can buy this from Ford and it's covered under the Ford warranty. You can have it installed by a dealer so it's uh it's one of those performance packs that's pretty expensive but it's covered under your warranty and it's high quality and you can trust it and uh the interesting thing about that now is that if i was to have that put on my mustang it would make my gt more powerful than a 2022 mach 1. isn't that something and I believe there's a good chance that because of that, Ford will cancel that performance pack at some point. I think they'll discontinue it. Remember, Toyota did the same thing or something very similar with the uh, Tacoma. When the 2016s were released with the new redesign, they discontinued the supercharger package that you could get from the dealer because it allowed, uh, with the supercharger pack on the older Tacomas, it made them more powerful than the new Tacomas. So they discontinued that power pack to level the playing field. And I've got a feeling that Ford may do the same thing with the performance pack for the 18 to 21 GTs. Um, so I wasn't really considering rushing out and getting it, but now I'm thinking I might go ahead and buy it especially with the supply chain situation the way it is, it's probably gonna be hard to get eventually anyway. So that's just something to consider. If you have an 18 to 21 Mustang GT and you get that performance pack, you're gonna have uh, probably the most powerful Mustang available. Um, it doesn't look like that performance pack is going to be compatible with the 2022s, according to the website. So, unfortunate for 2022 buyers. And of course, the S650 coming out in 23, I don't know. Is it gonna be a hybrid? It's gonna be an all-wheel drive. It's going to be based on the, uh, uh, the SUV platform. How that's going to look and how it's going to work, I'm not so sure, but uh, I'm sure it'll look nice. Is it going to be more powerful than uh, the S550? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Um, you know, something to think about. I mean, I'm pretty sure that it's going to have a new body. It's going to have a new chassis. But I'm pretty sure they're going to have the same. They're going to have the Coyote engine in it. I mean, I'd be surprised if they dumped the Coyote for something else. And I haven't heard any talk about any kind of new engine for the Mustang. So... My guess is that it's still going to have the same running gear. Um, and if they're not able to tweak it for 2022 to meet the new emission standards without reducing the horsepower and torque, I don't know. 
it's going to be interesting to see what comes out in 2023. It really is. But sad to hear that uh, the 2022s are already being reduced like that. Really sad. Not happy to hear that at all. But uh, if you have an 18 to 21 model, I suggest you might get that performance pack. I think I'm going to do it because, uh, you know, I think they're going to cancel that in the near future. That's just my gut feeling. All right. So please like or subscribe. Uh, comments. I I'm happy to hear any comments you have. Um, let's keep the conversation going. And uh, let me know your thoughts. Cheers. Have a good one.